Yeah. Just so you know, you can see that it's not just one. I mean, you can you can have multiple views on the area. Obviously, not just. Yeah, you, know, you, you don't have to be zooming in and out all the time. You can't unsplit that. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, so uh, for example, we have three way, three levels of zoom. The the first level, like this one, is a preview of your phone. The second one is metric. So you see the vertical matrix, you see the horizontal matrix, you can drag them to adjust spacing or carrying, but you don't see the nodes because you don't need them in this in this in this zoom. But you can zoom in even further, then you can, you are in applying mode, so you can move points. You can smoothly change from one to another. But there are some predefined things. So while I'm here, I can see all my points. And some of them, well, you can just move. As you can see, we have this thing of uh, interpolation of points. So if I move the, the electrical stand, the yeah. shape of the <laughs> is not being broken. And you also can see the smart guidelines, so it automatically aligns itself to the next leaf because it's the same position. And of course you can yeah, select and multiple. This, well, and this guidelines are very smooth. When I move my mouse, they are not really working. There is no snap. But if I stop for a second, it snaps. So it's not about, not about only about the zoom, it's also about the time. So we are using time to adjust how the things work. We, we actually had one nice experience where you can break outlines if you move a point too fast. So if you just drag a point very fast, it will break the, it the will outline. Break the that was an experiment. Yeah, it was an experiment. I don't know if you're going to implement it or not. <laughs> you can, also, you can drag, of course, you can select across multiple places, yes. obviously. And, yes. you know, mm. um, mm. Probably. <laughs> and also you can select, you know, yeah, of course, the busy yeah. control points. Okay. And you don't, you're not only limited to rectangle selection, so you can do just this. Mm -hmm. this. What about working with non, because these are solid outlines, but I want to see some, some uh, You want to see screw? Yes, I want you to see the screw. Yeah, this driver. is a nice tool. Mm. Uh, it, can, it can do this yeah. simple things like this, yes. mm -hmm. which a lot of guys know how to do. But we actually want to show you something interesting. Where's the cube? Oh, there's the cube. Okay. So we want me to do this. Right. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I can see that. And now there's an yeah, extra important. node. Can you, can you, because the... Yeah, the, no, no, I'm going to zoom in. Yes, there is this extra outline point. I think it's no, this one? not necessary. So if you remove this, this is, uh, by the way, this is actually, Tim Ahrens told me that, you know, the best node removal algorithm that exists is in Photographer, and it's better than anything else, you know, Freehand, Illustrator, uh, Font Lab Studio, and some other font editors, that number one and number two. And that he said, Tim Ahrens said, the Photographer node uh, algorithm is so that I cannot improve the results manually. So I removed the node, and the shape is the best possible without that node. So, of course, I told Yuri, well, we have photographer, so let's do the node, node removal. And I was fighting for a little bit. Yes. I wanted to improve my algorithm so it would be better. But, but then actually, you, I gave up, and so we have photographer. Oh. <laughs> so there's a bunch of, so I mean, the, there are sort of best pieces of the code completely rewritten from Fontab Studio where it is applicable, and from photographer where it actually makes mm -hmm. sense. So. Since this is all based on fractional coordinates, like in Photographer and many other, you know, so you can scale up and down without really losing quality through rounding, uh, the Boolean operators and uh, these cal cal curve uh, operations are, are mostly using. Yeah, speaking about Boolean operators. Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is well, I just reversed the direction. So, well, let me start it from different brief, because this one is already damaged. <clears throat> so, I just want to... All of people are doing removal of a lot all the time, because it's like one of the things that you do. Uh, we decided that it's not really necessary to do it in a fixed way, so we're proposing the, to have the <clears throat> uh, dynamic Boolean operations, so we can do this, like, you know, whatever. 
So now, mm, now this is the shape which is built with two shapes that are combined using some Boolean operations. And the original shapes are still accessible and fully editable. <coughs> okay. So it's not a, just a feel of the outline, it's actual contour. Mm -hmm. So if I deactivate, I'll go to this layer of the shape, and then I, I, I just go to object and say decompose, it will render the outline. So now it's kind of frozen, so it's not dynamic anymore. <coughs> Okay, so what about some, um, yeah, you, 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 you were thinking about something more complex even, because this is just a font, but you, and working with frames, and maybe we could show uh, some more of the shape stuff. Because, yeah. yes, shapes, I mean, this is, Miriam was, uh, was uh, talking about, you know, the shape-based design for Arabic, and we've been, uh, of course, sort of thinking along the same lines, and you know, a lot of designers sort of reuse elements, design elements mm -hmm. across the typeface design. So we we wanted to show you something about that. Yeah, some more. It took some complex form. So we have a conception of projects, which is basically a, a way to save your workspace, including all the fonts and all the stuff that you have in the paper. So this is this is it. So this is the paper, which has three frames and some well, graphics, just to just for fun. <clears throat> so here's one thing. If you look on this font, some of it, some elements are looking um, similar. They probably not the exact copies here, but who knows? <clears throat> so first of all, I show you how to do these things. So we have this shape, and I'm just selecting a part of it, and I'm going to convert it to, to shape. <coughs> it's something that we call, yes, shapes, which is basically, well, subroutines, if you will, maybe that's a... Well, it's not a subroutine. Yeah, yeah, but it's sort of, it's a similar concept for some people. Who take over. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the... Well, I think I need to. <coughs> what? I think I need to reverse it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And place it. Right. Okay, no. the thing is that these shapes are still connected. <coughs> and actually. Can you show that they're actually yeah. connected? No, 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 no. Go back, go back to just where you were. You did. And show, show that they're connected. Oh yeah, they are connected. <laughs> show that they're connected. Yes. <laughs> oh yes, they're connected. <laughs> but actual truth is always more complicated. Oh, is that transatlantic <laughs> flights from Europe? <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen? Look here. Yeah. You'll find that actually, these two elements here. Oh, I'm going to turn it off because it's it's a bit over complication. We'll look on the top of the F here. Too. Okay. It's the same shape. So uh, for Victoria, it doesn't matter how you trans transform the shape; it still keeps the connection and can join it automatically, it's no problem. So if I try to do some crazy things, like okay, well, just drag it. Oops. It's going to make really funny things. It likes to connect. <laughs> or I can just copy it to another belief, which is not best belief for the shape, but I still can do it. It's like it likes to connect, wants to connect. Yes, and as you can see, actually, no, if it's go, well, you could, you could show just very briefly the, the smooth connection, or g generally just how it connects, just if you, if you do oh, okay. it, mm -hmm. if you do it again, <laughs> show on the E, so essentially that this is... This is something that you're not now doing. But, or maybe go here, you were actually snapping it. Uh, so you can do this, like, sharp connection, or... Mm -hmm. Or just no connection at the point, so it will not deform the shape. 
So sometimes it's useful. I don't know where and when it can be useful, but anyway. <laughs> so with intersection, it uses the stride connection. So it connects the point, but doesn't change the shape of the form. Yes, and then if you, smooth, if you change this one to, to smooth, the top one, to smooth, yeah. then you can see that it's very fine. Sometimes keeping, you know, yeah. keeping continuity. Um, Okay, but what about and, numbers? And, yeah, and, and you can you can what you can do is <coughs> you can build uh, this kind of outer shape there, your connected shape from different shapes which are also can be connected. So it's it's a very complicated thing. Let me show you. This is something that you will not see in the final build. But this is how the actual structure of the data is organized. So this one is contains quite a few things. So this is called yeah the internal tree drawn. of the, stru the structure. But so one but one thing. Well, what about sort of? I want to see some numbers. I want to see because it's it's all visual. But I I have to see how. Mm. Uh, so we're talking about precision. Right? How, how thick my stems are. How thick your stems are. Your stems are. Well, <laughs> these stems. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is guideline. It can be yes. local or it can be global. Mm. I think I see the double bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, just yeah. if you sort of if you just go like in the middle, just just sort of scroll it a bit more. Up. Yeah, so you can see that you know it, it instantly uh, you know shows you measurements, and if you zoom in a bit, there is like one ninety ninety nine point. And if, you, if you zoom in, it actually starts showing you more details. So if it's if it's a fractional distance. Then it will, it will, you know. It just shows you the point because we can't see the, that. If you zoom in, it will show you the exact value. This is conception of zoomable UI. You don't see things here that you don't want to see. Okay, so I so think let this me is. See, let me show you the meter, right? Well, the okay, way. yeah. No, it's really it works now. Okay, it works. Oh, yeah, it does work. Well, this is yeah, the, the last thing before we wrap up because we're out of time. Um, so. Ah, it also can be automatic. So this, these are, you know, these are basically many of the things that we're you've seen are not like complete features. Oh yeah, this is actually hints that are, can be turned kind made out of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, these are not sort of complete features, and this is not like the complete feature set. It's basically elements that we're putting together now into well, some parts of them. Are ready, and you're gonna see them sooner. And some parts of, of that will be are will require some more work, so you'll see them later. But as I said, you know, come talk to us uh, throughout the conference. And we actually started a blog, blog.fontap.com. We'll be putting up out more information uh, as soon as we have some new things to show you. And well, thanks a lot. Um, and well. Thank you.